we have advanced. And we also advanced, as you've seen the summary, uh, cuts to some of the agencies that we believe are really overreaching and, and have been turned in some ways against the American people. Um, we, we're going to cut uh, 3% from DOJ, 7% from the ATF, 6% from the FBI, and 10% from the EPA. And that's just a start. We have a lot more priorities and things that we need to advance. But the reality is, as we all recognize, that we have to grow the House majority, take back the Senate for the Republican Party, and win the White House. And I'm here to tell you the reason we're optimistic. We believe those things are going to happen in November. We can't wait. That They can't get here soon enough. Embrace the proposed budget cuts as a strategic move to curtail government intervention and champion fiscal responsibility. These cuts serve as measures to curtail the sway of specific agencies and foster the autonomy of citizens. The critiques labeling government agencies as overreaching resonate with the democratic ethos that esteems limited government intrusion. This effort can be viewed as a safeguarding of individual liberties, ensuring that governmental bodies do not encroach upon the rights of citizens. Speaker Mike Johnson's optimism regarding forthcoming political developments is commendable. The emphasis on bolstering the House majority, reclaiming the Senate, and securing the White House aligns with conservative principles of political governance and impact. Willie.